welcome everyone this is a brief book reviews a program that looks at goa books and introduces you to some of them which you might have not come across today we have a very simple and an old book called musical education for secondary schools part 1 by ludino barreto ludino barreto this is a book very small very unpretentious a total of 100 pages exact sorry 104 pages uh it's out of print it's it's probably totally out of print published in the year 1995 uh priced at 50 rupees there is no publisher's name i guess it is self published printed at star types portais panjim goa okay first a word about the author as you know father ludino barreto as many of you would know many people connected with goa would know father ludino barreto was the head of the western music section of uh, kala academy in the 80s 90s if i'm not mistaken till he died quite young in his in his uh, mid to late 50s he died early uh, he was trained in rome he had this uh, talent as a musician enormous talent he was called maestro ludino barreto had the reputation for being a strict music teacher but good at his job he came from the village of galji bag galji bag which is which is the extreme south of goa south of goa in in uh, kankona taluka incidentally uh, some of you might also know some other prominent persons who come from galji bag for instance uh, badroy barreto the director and producer of the amazingly lovely and fantastic and westlickly produced konkani film probably the best ever konkani film we've had called nacho ya kumpasar let's dance to the rhythm it's all about musicians uh, goan musicians in bollywood and how they didn't get the credit and all but that's a different point we won't go there today so the author is introduced in 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 at the start of this book he was he was the director of western music at kala academy the chairman of the board of studies in western music at goa university and a member of the academic council and convener of the subcommittee for music and arts of the goa board of secondary and higher secondary education and institute manager briganza he has published two other books goinche geet means a song of goa goinche geet part 1 on the mando mando dulpod these are two music forms and goinche geet part 2 on the dekhni mando dulpod his works in progress then are goinche geet part 3 on kunbi songs mando dulpod and uh, musical education for secondary schools part 2 so this is uh, musical education for secondary schools part 1 part 1 so i mean what strikes me is that uh, in those days we are talking about what are we talking about 1990s 1990s uh, or maybe 1980s the vision towards western music in goa was far more liberal and uh, comprehensive than it is today or so it seems so okay coming to this book uh i think there is a interesting para in the forward the first para of the forward itself which says goan's talent for music is known far and wide and to introduce them to this subject will certainly be found superfluous Similarly as all the secondary schools in Goa have a provision for musical education in their syllabus to speak of this matter again will appear to be another futile exercise the talent is known but remains untapped 
and even though the syllabus exists, it remains unimplemented. So then he talks about the reasons for shelving the subjects, textbooks are not available, the dearth of competent and dedicated teachers, musical education has been sidetracked, the view that music is for a, for a few and not for all, and also the argument that music is not a necessity in life. And basic, uh, interestingly, last point is prejudice against Western music. Okay, so so that's his forward, where he makes a case for this study. Not being deep into music myself, but an appreciator of the same. I just like to briefly introduce you to what this book contains. So it is, it has a total of ten chapters. The first is uh, general knowledge about music in life, importance of music in life, music in our schools, different types of music, music dance and drama. Then we go to the elements of music, like the notes, the stave or staff, clefs, rhythm. Then chapter 3 is about scales and intervals, elements of scale, intervals. Chapter 4 is about rhythm in music. Chapter 5 is about singing exercises. Chapter 6 is about the music of early civilizations, including Indian, Chinese, Arabic, Greek, Roman. Chapter 7 is folk music, Goan folk music, and also folk music from different continents. This is in uh, two pages each on each subject. So it's a brief introduction to, to you know, giving you a, I guess that's what DM is, to give you a wide introduction to all the different aspects of uh, of the subject. Chapter 8 is about vocal music. Chapter 9, by mistake it's a 19, it should be 9, is practical method of singing and chapter 10 is favorite pieces for singing. That's on page 87. So just to give you an idea, uh, okay, chapter 10 is favorite pieces for choral singing. He, uh, interestingly, there are some Konkani songs here. Goi Amche Agua by Ludin Barreto himself. It's a lively song. Ami Bikari Kore, a languishing Goan folk song. How Saiba Poltodi Veta, of course, the Dekni, which is sung gracefully and is a Goan folk song. Many interpretations have, given, have been given to what it's supposed to mean. Kennat Chitung Nasle Mando Slow with Feeling Sung Slowly with Feeling Goan Folk Song Kennat Chitung Nasle I never thought this would happen Siti Dan Paigal Rejaki Think and put your and take the next step Jaki Kunvi Song And then How Mataro Todoki Amatara Todoki. It's a comic song and uh, some English songs like Lero, When the Saints Go Marching In, Michael Rowe, The Boat A Show, Merrily We Roll Along, Edelweiss, My Bonnie, Viva La Liberta, Chok Chok Ro, Chik Chikri, Rivers of Babylon, Tauloma Blanca, Santa Lucia, Mama Yo Que, Kero, Portuguese songs. So that's what the book contains. Uh, it's a brief introduction, I guess, for teachers and students at the school level. Very interesting. This is how it looks, for example, a specimen page. Very interesting because it was music that gave Goans a huge head start once upon a time and we've lost our talent. So, you know, I can really appreciate what vision goes into creating this sort of material. Unfortunately, these books are forgotten today. Uh, you, because I'm a stubborn collector of Goan books, you will find it in my collection. But in, also, I've been trying to read it, so it's not that I don't read my books, as you can see from the underlining and then markings and things like that. So yes. I wish these books could be made available once more so that uh, the intention with which they were written is becomes real once again. 
this photo looks very familiar this is father lubin conducting a choir of a large number of students i don't know what's the occasion someone could could maybe comment about it out of print invaluable if you get it don't lose it keep it carefully okay uh, if you want to refer to it it should be available in places like the central library in panjim they have a they have a goa book section on the fourth floor you can go there and ask for it by name you should be able to get to get it to refer to maybe to photograph a few pages to refer to it to read it but not to borrow so that's it for today thank you